Hello, my name is Cody, and today I'll be doing a fight analysis of one of my favorite HEMA practitioners, Malton Fabian. Not only is he incredibly quick, but he has a very unique style of fencing that I'd like to point out. He also has a lot of really great videos on his YouTube channel that you should go check out if you haven't already. So, let's begin. I won't label opponent A or opponent B like my last video, as they all involve Molten Fabian, so just note that this is Fabian. Now, we see Fabian go into long and alt, then he waves his point towards his opponent, kinda offering it as bait. The opponent takes the bait, cutting at Fabian's sword in an attempt to displace it. Fabian remains strong in the bind, while his opponent leaves the bind in order to Zverok. Fabian goes high into what almost looks like hanging. When the opponent's strike lands, Fabian goes weak in the bind, and his sword is propelled around like a helicopter blade, where it hits the opponent's head. This actually happened three times in a row, and is a really easy way of dealing with opponents who rush in, or whenever you find yourself in a high bind. Quite simply, it's just remembering to drop your point down to strike at the back of the head. Simple, but effective. We also get to see the counter to the last play of dropping the point down to the back of the head when in a high bind. We see both of them entering the high bind. The opponent drops the point of the sold, but Fabian gives him a bit of a shove, sending him falling backwards. This exchange reminds me of a matador. We see the opponent charge in like a bull, and Fabian very fluidly displaces the point and sidesteps out of the way. No longer in danger, he strikes with the false edge of the blade to the face of his oncoming opponent. <laughs> Nothing complex with this one, I just like the thrust. We see Fabian taking a low gold, maybe allable, as he gets back into range before he lunges forward with the thrust. The important thing to note is that he raises his quillions high in order to protect his head from an incoming strike. We see something similar to the last exchange. Fabian stults an allable, waiting for his opening to strike. He takes the vol with a lunge, and when it is deflected, he throws two very quick zveroks, both of which seem to land. This is a great combination, as the opponent's blade is very far to the left after displacing the lunge, and isn't able to get far enough oval to the right in order to parry the zverok. <laughs> This exchange speaks for itself, but again, you see a very strong shove from Fabian when entering a high and close bind. Part of why I think this is so effective is people are generally light on their feet when fencing, as they are anticipating the need to cover ground quickly. They simply aren't expecting this type of attack. <laughs> we 
We see the opponent take the vol with an overhaul, which is caught on Fabian's quillions. Fabian attempts what looks like a mutiran, but the opponent is too strong in the bind for it to be effective. Fabian then leaves the bind for Zverok, which lands on the side of the head. You can see that Fabian uses only a handful of techniques, but he does them very well. <laughs> This last exchange was my favorite. There was a lot of playing around with range and a lot of careful fencing. The opponent attempts the geisel, but doesn't fully commit to it, keeping both hands on the grip. We also see one of the best defenses against the geisel by Fabian, which is to simply pull your leg out of the way. We then see Fabian end the exchange as usual by entering into a high bind, then executing a Zverok. I hope you were able to see some of the reoccurring themes in Malton Fabian's style of fencing, such as leading with the point and making effective use of the Zverok. Maybe you can apply some of these into your own fencing. Now, Malton Fabian is one of my favorite HEMA practitioners, but let me know who yours might be in the comments section below, as well as what you thought of the video. Bison la tastra!